What's going on, everybody? Let's solve this math question that says, find the value of x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. If x plus y is equal to 3, and x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 9. We can decide to call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Now, let's start from equation 1. So our first step will be for us to square the both sides of equation 1. So we have x plus y squared equal to 3 squared. Now squaring the left hand side, we have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to the right hand side, 3 squared is 9. Now we can call this equation 3 since we've already got equation 1 and 2. Now this time, let's focus on equation 2. Equation 2, we have x cubed plus y cubed to be equal to 9. Now notice that the left-hand side, we have the sum of two cubes. The sum of two cubes can be written as x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. So this is equal to the right hand side which is 9. Now notice that we have x plus y and this is what we have as equation one, in equation 1 as 3. So in place of x plus y here I'm going to be substituting 3 times x squared minus xy plus y squared to be equal to 9. Now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 3. So I'll divide the left by 3. I'll divide the right by 3. Now notice 3 cancels out 3, leaving behind x squared minus xy plus y squared to be equal to 9 divided by 3 is 3. I've already got equation 3, so I can call this equation 4. Now, I want to solve equation 3 and equation 4 together. Now, let's focus our attention on equation 3 and 4. Let me rewrite them. Equation 3 is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to 9. This is equation 3. Y equation 4 this is x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to 3. This is actually equation 4. Let's solve them together by subtracting equation 4 from 3. So let's subtract. Now we have x squared minus y squared is 0. Now 2xy minus minus, so minus minus becomes plus. So 2xy plus 2xy is actually 3xy. And then y squared minus y squared is 0. And this is equal to, now 9 minus 3 is 6. So let's divide both sides by 3. So dividing both sides by 3, on the left, 3 can cancel out 3, leaving behind xy to be equal to, the right hand side, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So I've already got equation 3 and 4, so I can decide to call this equation 5. Now our next step will be for us to put equation 5, which is xy equal to 2, in any of these two equations, either equation 3 or 4. I'll show the equation 4. Equation 4 is x squared minus xy plus y squared equal to 3. This is actually equation 4. Now notice that xy is 2. So I can decide to substitute xy equal to 2 here. Now let's do that. So this becomes x squared minus xy is 2 plus y squared equal to 3. 
Now let's move negative 2 to the right hand side. So we have remaining x squared plus y squared. Now when minus 2 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 2. So we have 3 here plus 2. Now this simplifies into x squared plus y squared to be equal to 3 plus 2 is 5. So we can decide to call this equation 5. No, this will be equation 6 since our last equation was equation 5. Now we got all we need or all we needed to solve for what the question asks us to find, which is x to the fourth plus y to the fourth. Well, this is actually what the question asks us to find. Now, this is the sum of two fourth powers. It has an identity of x squared plus y squared or to the power of 2 minus 2x squared y squared. Now, from indices, I can actually combine these two since they both have the same powers. So this becomes x squared plus y squared or squared minus 2 times xy or squared. Now let's substitute. From what we have here, we have x squared plus y squared, which we have in equation 6 to be equal to 5. So I'm going to be putting 5 there. And remember, this is carrying a power of 2. So I'll raise this to a power of 2. Minus 2 times xy. xy is what we have in equation 5. In equation 5, xy is actually equal to 2. So let me substitute that there. So this is equal to 2. And from what we see here, this is carrying a power of 2. So we raise this to power 2. Now simplifying, 5 squared is 25 minus 2 times. Now this is 2 to power 2, which results to 4. Sorry for that. Which results to 4. So this simplifies into 25 minus 2 times 4, that's 8. And 25 minus 8 is actually 17. And this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.